Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup, Joe, and let's get started, shall we? Hello, and uh, welcome to the coffee mug video series. Uh, we have created an item and put that on a purchase order and on a sales order. And now actually we need to go ahead and do something with this item, actually generate some transaction. Um, this is the coffee mug uh, that we have generated. And right now, if I take a look at the entries, I have no entries for this coffee mug. So there's, there's no history on this particular item. I have, however, generated a purchase order and a sales order. And the point of this quick mini video is to actually post the purchase order and the sales order and see what happens uh, in the history. So if I go ahead and uh, search for my purchase order, go into the purchase orders. Take a look at the purchase order. Yeah, so right now I need to actually find the purchase order for the coffee mug. Uh, I have a bunch of them. If they were all in one sequence, it'd be easy to find. Uh, but in the demo system, they are all in different sequences, so I'm not really sure where it was. A quick way to find it would be to actually just go to the items and go into the mug itself. And I'll just take a look at, I have a thousand on a purchaser, I can just click on those thousand. And then I can show document. And here it is. So uh, this is a quick way of finding the actual purchase order that it's on. And now uh, I'll just put in number for the vendor invoice. This is the invoice that the uh, vendor gave to me, their number. I'll just make something up for my demo. I'll make sure that quantity to receive is 1,000 and quantity to invoice is 1,000. So I'm actually getting everything on that purchase order. Uh, and I go ahead and post and receive an invoice. I'm going to both receive the product into warehouse and recognize the invoice as a payable. And I'll just post that. And the system starts calculating and goes through all its engines and posts the transactions through. Uh, the order actually disappears when it's fully posted. It becomes a posted invoice and a posted receipt, which I'll go over later. I also see I have five on sales order here. I'm back to the item card. Let me go ahead and post the sales order too. So we got a thousand in, uh, and five are going to go out again. They're going to the cannon group. And I make sure that the quantity to ship and quantity to invoice is five. I go ahead and hit post, ship and invoice. And this order is processed in a similar way as the purchase order. And now that's done. 
Now if I go into the item cart again, go into my entries, ledger entries, I can see there are two transactions. There is a fixes for a thousand for five thousand dollars. And then there's a sale for five. Total seventy-five dollars.